Hey, this is Jerry again with Parts Pro. We've stopped by down here in uh, East Tennessee to talk to Bob Mallory. Bob uh, is uh, very well known, been around for many years doing a lot of the street rods in town. And we're going to talk to him about a few. Bob's been doing this quite a while. I think he gave up his real job many years ago and uh, took over the hot rod industry. Very involved with a local car club. They put on a big show down here every year, Memorial Day, over at uh, Memory Lane. Bob, good to see you again. You too, Jerry. Uh, you're looking good. You eating well? Yep. <laughs> well, uh, and I hope you don't mind us dropping in, pretty much unannounced. But uh, if you will, just tell us uh, what you do in the hot rod industry, but performance-wise. Tell us about your driver up there. That's going to impress a lot of people and your little rod, too. Yeah. And what you're working on and uh, what goes on here. Well, we do you know, basically paint jobs, a little bit of everything. I've got a 65 Malibu Super Sport convertible on that. 39 Chevrolet, it's a two-door, call it a flat back, don't have a trunk on it, pretty rare piece. And uh, I've got a couple of projects going on now. I've got a 37 Ford uh, pickup in here that's uh, got the car show. It kind of got away from him a little bit and rolled off in the creek and fixing it back. And, uh, about got it wrapped up, don't like too much more on it. Got a 57 Chevrolet underway here. And, uh, uh, 66 Noble Wagon we're fixing to start on, so uh, got a little bit going on right now. Well tell me, just where and when did you get into this side of it? I think you've always been a car mop. Now I, I do know that at one time you were with an uh, automotive manufacturing plant here in town. Mm -hmm. uh, and did you always do this on the side or kind of give me the rollover time schedule there? I've been interested in, you know, doing, you know, a little mechanic work, paint work for about all my life, ever since I was big enough, and uh, I worked at uh, Dodge Reliance for about 24 years, and while I was down there, I'd do a little bit, uh, you know, paint on my own, friends of mine, for a while there, and then after I left down there, I just started doing it full time. Been doing it for about 15 years now, full time. Well, go ahead and give a little plug to, uh, what's the local car club that you're involved with, and what y'all do? Random Rods of Rogersville. And then uh, you help the local community every year with a car show? Yeah, we put on a car show this past year. We had uh, a little over 900 cars registered and uh, goodness, give a relay for life uh, $4,500. Oh, that's great. That's excellent. Yep. You want to show us this old pickup truck or not? Well, if you want to look at it, we're about ready to start putting it back together. I take it we uh, bent the bed up? Or? It bent the, the back of the bed up and, and kind of bent all the fenders up. Nothing major, but just a little damage all over. Roughed it up, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me how common this is. I mean, I know, but uh, we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but tell us about the blue oval and the red bow tie in the same piece. Okay, that's a uh, Ford built Chevy Tug. <laughs> Yeah, say that again. The Ford-built Chevy Tug. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of got my own personal relationship with that. Uh, I know that feeling pretty well. I do. Uh, Bob, I don't mean to get real serious or philosophical with you or anything, but in the last few years, have you seen the turnaround? Have you felt the difference in the merge towards street riding over the racing or or some of the others? One of my best friends used to uh, race all the time. He does. He's got a brother that drag races, and he was the announcer at the local drag strip. And uh, he got into street riding a little bit, and then got a little more serious, and he just quit the drag racing and into the street riding now. So, I'm not sure that's something uh, I'm going to brag about <laughs> uh, in the performance business. But this is definitely a growing art, this is a growing yeah. field, this is a growing marketplace in the performance business and the street rides. But uh, yeah. all the street riders want performance out of their engines. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. if, if, and if they're not showing it off performance-wise, they're showing it off look-wise, just knowing they can. Yes. But uh, I myself am an old racer that's gone to uh, street rod in Antigua. And I don't, I'm not ashamed to say it. It's a lot better investment. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it is. So uh, street riding and muscle cars are coming on strong, mm -hmm. 
and uh, we're glad you're a part of it. Very exactly. We know you're a, a big part of it, especially down this way, and been around it a long time. We were just over visiting your buddy Cav. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to him quite a bit, got some good footage over there. So we wanted to stop here, and uh, I was telling David what you did, and how involved you were, and being down in the, this part of the country. Uh, we're glad you invited us in and kind of snuck in on you, but we appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate you, time. Uh,